Alright, everybody, today I want to be looking at Shadow Priest in the BFA Alpha. So, the most notable change to Shadow Priest in the BFA Alpha is the removal of the artifact weapon and the removal of um, a lot of power in your uh, void form. Now, what this means for the spec is that you no longer have such a huge ramp up time, so you no longer have to require to be in void form for 40 seconds for your um, dots to start doing damage, and as such, the spec has been compensated with um, base damage to, you know, even out the damage. Uh, what this means is that uh, you can actually now do damage in Mythic Plus, and this is because you don't have to wait to ramp up on, on mobs for so long. Um, Shadow Priest has been given a number of options as well to do AoE damage in Mythic Plus, most notably the inclusion of Dark Void. Uh, Dark Void is an ability that allows you to do a moderate amount of damage um, to a mob and the surrounding mobs and apply Shadow Web Pain to all of those mobs. What this means is that Shadow Priest now has a way to mass apply dots, meaning they can function similar to what an Affliction Warlock can do in Mythic Plus, where they can use Seed of Corruption and apply Corruption to all the mobs. Um, you know, Warlocks, Warlocks show that uh, dots, dot specs do have a place in Mythic Plus, and they can do competitive damage in Mythic Plus, they just need the tools to be able to do that. So Sh Shadow Priest being given the tool to be able to mass apply Shadow Web Pain, you know, is a really, really strong side. And from my testing so far, you know, I, I'm confident in the fact that Shadow Priest has been given enough tools to actually be competitive in the, um, the Mythic Plus scene. So if we look at Shadow's toolkit right now for, um, for Dungeons and Five Mans, they have Dark Void, the ability to apply Shadow Web Pain to all the mobs and do a moderate amount of damage. You have Shadow Crash, which does a large amount of AoE damage on a short cooldown, and you also have Void Eruption. So with these three abilities, you have three powerful abilities to do a large amount of burst AoE, and um, currently on the BFA Alpha, your burst damage is, is probably one of the highest I've seen so far of any of the specs. Um, which is, you know, quite quite promising, which is, you know, a, a refreshing change from what Shadow Priest is right now, where they, they literally have no AoE. Shadow Priest have also been given Mindseer, um, which is your 3 plus target filler, and it even replaces Mind Blast and Void Bolt at a number of targets. So if we look at how Shadow Priest is actually functioning right now in Mythic Plus, when you're going in to start a, you know, a multi-target pack, you're going to look to cast a Void Bolt initially to apply Shadow Web Paint to all those targets. To follow that up, you can cast Shadow Crash, and then you want to be casting um, your Mind Blast or Shadow Web Void to get immediately into Void Form. Um, once you get into Void Form, at this point, you've already cast three back-to-back, -back, you know, really strong AoE, uh, AoE spells, and, you know, it is likely that you've done a very significant amount of AoE damage. And you've also set up all the mobs with your Shadow Web Pain. At this point, you can choose how you're going to approach what you're going to be doing on this pack. If they're going to live for a long time, maybe what you want to be doing is rotating your Void Bolts with your Mind Seer. If there's about three targets, maybe your best option will be to apply Vampiric Touches and rotate um, Void Bolt and Mind Seer again to make sure you're maintaining your dots. Or if the you know the mobs won't last for a long time, maybe your best option will be to cast a mind seer repeatedly and let your dots fall off because the targets will die soon. So Shadow Priest has been given all these options of how to AoE and adapt to every single situation, which you know is a really strong sign that they're actually going to be able to do damage in Mythic Plus because they are given these choices. Now, what we see currently in all the dungeons that are being released in the alpha is that having an offensive dispel is extremely valuable. Um, a lot of these dungeons have a lot of mechanics where dispelling them um, offensively, you know, takes off the absorb shield, you know, reduces the amount of damage they do, um, things like that. And, you know, so, so far from what I've seen is that having an offensive dispel is, is a huge bonus to the um, benefit to the class, which, you know, is going to be, you know, something you might look for when you're bringing a class to Mythic Plus. Shadow Priests also have Mind Bomb, um, which is, I think, the strongest um, AoE stun, or one of the strongest AoE stuns. Blizzard has done a lot of work to prune the amount of AoE stuns in the game, um, so the fact that Shadow Priests have kept their Mind Bomb is um, a, a really good sign. Now, if we want to have a look at the talents, um, some of the talents have changed to allow Shadow Priest to do damage in obviously a lot of situations. On the tier 15, we see Fortress of the Mind, Shadow, Shadowy Insight, and Shadowed Void. 
um, from my testing in the BFA Alpha, I find Shadowed Void to be the most powerful, just because having two charges on an ability is an extremely high amount of uh, value, just because of, you know you don't have to cast them back to back to get maximum efficiency out of them. Um, and so far from what I've seen, Shadowy Insight will be, you know, your choice if you want to do priority single target. Fortress of the Mind hopefully will be a single target choice and Shadowed Void will be your um, your AoE or, you know, more, more uh, you know, high mobility or something like that. Uh, tier 30, you're losing masochism, but I highly doubt we're going to see um, BFA go into the same kind of state where Legion is at the moment, where the scaling is so out of whack, where you you know you need damage reductions for every single mechanic, otherwise you're just going to die. Um, obviously, dam damage reductions are, are really valuable, but I don't think we're going to get to the point where I'll, uh, you know you're able to do the damage of the keys, where just everything just one shots you. Um, that's another video, but you know currently this I I don't think the scaling is going to get to the same point in BFA where damage reductions have so much value so I think the loss of masochism isn't the biggest deal to uh, to 45 um, you obviously really have the choice between twist of fate misery and dark void um, twist of fate you know probably is more of a uh, raiding ability at this point I think dark void is going to be your default pickup in dungeons provided you know there is there aren't any dungeons where you know you'd be pulling three targets or something all the time where misery might take over although twist of fate is still a very powerful option uh your level 75 talents you know are all viable and it more so depends on what kind of style you're doing in the dungeon um you know auspicious spirits might be really good on a three three target style dungeon shadow crash should be on you know a, a heavy multi-target dungeon and shadow of death maybe on a pure single target Tier 90 is, I don't think they have much impact at the moment um, in terms of changing your gameplay. Uh, and if, you know, at this point, without Sims being done or whatever, they you know, they play pretty similar. And then your level 100 talents, Legacy the Void, allows you to basically cast more Void eruptions in Mythic Plus. Uh, void Torrent is, is nice. Um, the way that Shadow Priest works at the moment is you don't actually want to be going into your... Um, your void form without having max insanity because you can't actually generate up to 100 insanity when you after you start your um insanity phase so you void void torrent is basically going to be your default pickup for single target and surrender to madness has slight has you know has been changed to be you know not killing you um but it is does have a fairly large negative uh which means it's going to play a very similar role to what it is at the moment so just to summarize, uh, Shadow Priest right now has been given a lot of tools to make it viable in a five-man scenario, and I am really, really keen to see Shadow Priest be taken away from the way it's currently played in live, where you know it's it's all about ramp up to do damage in the last few seconds of your void form. Um, right now, void form is not very impactful at all, which is a good thing for the spec. Um, having such a large ramp up is is something that's really really hard to balance and because it's really hard to balance you have to assume that you know you're always going to be getting those really hard void forms otherwise in a situation where you can get those really hard void forms you're just going to be doing a lot more damage than everybody else so the removal of, of that entire mechanic basically um, where you're doing high amounts of damage the later in your void form is allows you know shadow priest to be opened up in a different design space and you know we, we've seen that in the talents where they've been getting options to you know be able to apply all their dots to or you know mass apply their dots because their dots don't have as much power as they would have previously um the inclusion of things like mind seer um you know being a powerful three target uh filler you know is is really good for the spec because it does give you those options on aoe you know, while while also giving you choices in what to do on certain number of mobs and how long those mobs are living, um, you know, I, I'm I'm excited to see that Shadow is getting a good look into, and that you know it it might actually be a you know a, a top tier pick in five man environments going forward. Anyway, I hope you liked my analysis of uh, you know Shadow Priest in the BFA Alpha and hopefully they keep going down the same road of giving Shadow the tools to properly function as a class in 5-man environments. 
Thanks for watching. Bye.